Good morning, sir. Go away, Julie. Good morning, sir. Sir, you have a lot of work to do at the office today. Go away, please. I'll be waiting downstairs. Um, okay, sir. So they're moving into a new market and they want the market analysis. Are we on it? Yes, sir, we are. Thomas? Um, he's meeting with you at the office this afternoon. This morning? Um, you have a meeting with um, Sarafina and Moet. Excuse me. Hello? Kate. It's too early for you to be calling me for personal reasons. I am focused on work. So who's at 10 a.m.? My wait, sir. So Sarafina is at 12? Yes, sir. Mm. Okay, let's go. Okay, sir. I waited. <laughs> Mama T, hey. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Looking good as usual. Thank you so much. Well, you can't waiting. I'm so sorry, forgive me. <sighs> we need to finish up that stuff today. Um, Julie? Yes, sir. Please get us lunch. We'll be here for a while. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. So, um, I told you I wanted to I show you. I like that girl, Juliet. She is smart. Beautiful and of course very beautiful. Thomas, please do not fall in love with her. I need her here and I want you to focus as well. But I'm focused. How are you focused when you're checking Julie out? For goodness sake. <laughs> oh, what can you take? I'm serious. Oh, okay. Let me see what you have to show. Hello? Where are you? Yes, Oga wants his lunch. Okay, fine. I'm walking out of the office right now, so pick me on the street. Alright, bye. Hi, Julie. Hi. What are you doing here? I called in the morning. I just want her to hear his voice. I was there. So you heard how he spoke to me? Yes. I just want him to understand that I'm not here to disturb him. Is that why you came? Yes. Kate. Honestly, he's in a business meeting right now with his partner. I don't think he'll have time for you today. His table is full. Okay, maybe I should just quickly see him. I'm trying to let you know that he doesn't have time. His table is full today. Are you trying to say I should go? No, what I'm saying is, fine, um, Kate, why don't you just call him tomorrow? Let's say two or three. Then he's done with his morning meetings. And if he invites you over, fine, you can come. Okay? All right. Um, sorry, I have to go. The driver is waiting for me, okay? Okay. So sorry. Take care. Also, we ask him to alter expansion, form strategic partnership, and uh, gradually increase the uh, profitability. Exactly what I would suggest, but you know who we're talking about, right? Guy. 
Our job basically is to come up with ideas, activities, mm. and um, initiate uh, good business strategies, ultimately to um, um, help business grow and uh, increase revenue. So if we advise someone and infuse because of his personality, he wouldn't take the advice. It's his loss. Mm. True, you're right. You're very right with that. Hey, am I interrupting something? I saw Julie on my way in. Hi, babe. Uh, yes. Is everything okay? It was about this morning. Yep. Yeah. No. I'll give you guys a minute. Sure. Okay. I thought I told you I don't like being interrupted when I'm working. Yes, you did. That's why I called this morning before you started working. But you sounded so upset. I like you. But I know I may not have explained that I'm not ready to be in a relationship. What, why are you saying this to me? Because I don't want you to get hurt. I can't give you the attention you need. Look, right now I want my partner back in here so we can finish work. In other words, so I, sh I should leave. I'll call you. Just ask Thomas to come back in on your way out. Six in the morning, time to get busy. Gotta make some money, make it better living. No time for long thing, baby, no darling. Not to waste my time, got to go money calling, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're about to say. Kate, but I told you. I just needed to see him. Oh yeah. I guess it was for nothing. I have to give him his food. Anything else other than eat? Mm -mm. This one you just got back and you're attacking me. It's the cure for depression, no? Uh -uh. uh, why? Why are you depressed? My sister, lack of marriage. So <laughs> 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 you're so stupid. Are you serious? A, leave me and my food. Can I just take you serious right now? You, please leave me. Anyways, should you have money? My darling, when you need to finish, just mm. make sure we place my food stuff, okay? Mm. I don't want to talk on two times, so. No problem. Mm hmm. Half an hour. Oh, you're a cute boss. Oh, I beg. You see, I'm really trying to understand the fact that you don't like that man. Why? Anyways, I do not hate him. Okay. Okay? Mm. I just. I just hate how, how he treats women, you know? and. So many other things he does. For goodness sake, Julie. He's cute, he's rich. All these girls will be jumping on him, don't you know? So because he's attractive, that is why you should take women for granted? You know, once I don't understand how these girls think. I think they're so stupid. How can you be chasing a man who is not even chasing you? Hmm. I get. Girl. <sighs> but when is his PA coming back, so? So you don't get to be too close to him. In six months. What? Six months? So wait, you have to cover up for her for six months? <sighs> yes. Wait, how do you even do it? Be like being his head research and 
MD's assistant. How are you doing it? I don't know. I don't know, Sophie, but I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it. Well, they try. They try. Uh, what are you going to now? Kitchen, of course. Ah, wait, wait. Ah, oh, wait. What it's happened? This one big fat chicken that is in that kitchen. I don't even want you to stick it. Please, Julia, pay. Go pay. Julia! Okay. <laughs> Who are you? Hello? I'm asking, who are you? I'm Julie. And? I work for Mr. Harrison. So? That's it. So Why are you Julie and her? I'm not. I'm just getting to know her. She works for me. And she has your spare keys? Yes. Um, the nature of her job demands it. I'm sorry, sir. I need to get you started. I remember when getting a hold of your key was a big deal, and now just anyone can have it. Joy, why are you here? I'm bringing Dante back. To Nigeria? Yes. Why? Working and taking care of him abroad is way too much for me. I was hoping you can play a stronger part in his life. Besides, I want to come home and reside here. You know I'm not your son's father. I know. But you've been with him. That's the much I can do. I don't want you to confuse what I have with him. Harrison, you mean the whole world to him. And I don't take that for granted, okay? Look, when we were dating, I felt responsible for him. And now we're no longer dating. I can only be a distant uncle. But I was hoping... We don't have that anymore. Fine. I came to Nigeria to see you and make some plans. But I guess I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. So am I. I am very sorry about all that. Yeah, it's fine, uh, sir. But you have something for me about that? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. It's tell me the car. Let's yeah, go. I'll tell you. So if they will give us some time to analyze the consumer data we've gathered, they can use this data to target the right audience, launch new products, or refine existing ones. Then Harry, what can we do? Um, they're asking for a lot, sir. We have also done the consumer feedback survey that will help them determine which additional services customers want. It will help them plan their new product design. What can their marketing team work with? Um, sir, they can use the consumer data that we've collected to create or refine their marketing strategy. Okay, can this data be properly analyzed and ready for presentation? Oh, sir, it's already done. What, sir? Thomas was right. No wonder he likes you. You're very hardworking and dedicated. I appreciate your work. Thank you, sir. What else do we have apart from this presentation? Oh, um, we have um, a representative from Kovana Enterprise waiting for you. Oh, I hate talking to those people. We never make any headway with them. Oh, sir, no. They sent Anne. You know she's easy to talk with. Okay. If it's Anne, I'll see her. Send her in when I'm settled. Okay, sir. Oh, and um, follow up on Thomas. Let us know if you got that contract, because we have invested enough on that project. Oh, okay, sir. Fine, sir. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, okay, sir. Hello? Yeah, I've sent documents to your email. Um, driver, please hurry. We'll have a meeting. Thank you. Yes, come in. Hey, Anne. Mr. Harrison, why do I feel like you're avoiding us? Well, I'm not. Have a seat. Thank you. Okay, so, what's the problem? You should be asking your bosses. They never implement our recommendation. Well, you know we've had a lot of changes at the top management level. Then what happened to our recommendation? I sincerely can't answer that. My point exactly. 
And you know we go to a great length to research and investigate what is good for your people. Thank goodness we can afford to pay. Money has its place, but the evidence of our great work is equally important. Well, I am now in a position to implement all of your recommendations. Wait, you got promoted? Yes. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Thank God. What? Let me guess. A billionaire contract. <laughs> I wish, but yeah. We just got this contract. It means a lot to us because we've been working so hard on it. Congratulations. You guys are so good. Thank you. So, um... <clears throat> What time do you get off work today? 5 p.m. We're going to celebrate this contract. My partner and I may be head of research. Do you mind coming? Oh, not at all. Great. Right. No, mom, please listen to me. What if I don't want to get married? Well, I'm asking because you keep bringing up this your high blood pressure issue each time we talk about marriage. It's unfair. It's not nice. But I'm not the cause of your high blood pressure, right? See, this thing you're doing now, I don't... Mom, I'm not in the mood to start talking. I'm not. See, Julie is here. Please talk to her. Please. Uh, Auntie, good evening. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Auntie, we thank God. Yes, Auntie. I'm in a relationship. Yes, Auntie. Okay, Auntie, good night. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. And which relationship are you in? Come on, I just had to tell your mom something. You see, this is the part I don't even like. Making me lie unnecessarily. See, so I'm tired. Sophie, come on. She's just been a typical mother. But it's unfair. I can't keep lying like this. I can't do this anymore. If anytime she calls, I won't pick her calling. Yeah, fine, it's, she's your mom, so anything you want to do, you do. You know how better. I have to go in. Wait, why are you even coming back? From? Oh, yes. We want a contract, so we went to celebrate. And uh, you didn't even call me to come join you. We're just a few of us. Was Harrison there? Sophie, hmm? since when did you start calling my boss Harrison? <clears throat> um, well, 
So I started thinking about him. Wow. <laughs> think her. <laughs> There's a new one. Her name is Anne. And I think I like this one. We bonded. Mm -hmm. You bonded? Yes. It's fine, but you will like me better. You know why? Because I'm your cousin. I'm with you. Like, I'm with you. Just keep water. dreaming. No, no, no. Keep dreaming, okay? I have to go sleep. I need to be sure I'm going in already. What and what have we not talked about? Um, but sir, uh, why are they refusing to test the product before mass production? I'll ask them again. But sir, you know we can easily have a focus group to test this product before the mass production. If they say yes, how fast can we put it together? Um, two or three weeks. Two or three? Yes, sir. Excuse me. Hello, Anne. <laughs> oh, hi Julie. Hi. Is Harrison in? Do you have an appointment? Um, no, it's not official. Well, I guess that's not how it works, right? No. Okay. It seems I already started messing things up. You know, I actually called him on my way here, but he sounded way too formal. Yes, I was in the car with him. Oh, okay. So, how bad is it? You see, Mr. Harrison loves to take the lead. He doesn't like interruption when he's working. And he prefers dealing with a lady that is also busy with something. So, I, I really don't know right now. Okay, um, so, what do I do? Um, how about you come in on appointment? How? I don't have an appointment. Don't worry. Leave that on me, okay? Really? Yes. Thank you. All right. Um, sorry, can I just have your number? Oh, sure, fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How come I did not know about the meeting with Anne this morning? Um, sorry, sir. It's... It's my mistake. I'm so sorry. Is that why she was calling me? Yes, actually, she was calling to reschedule. Oh, I did not know. I thought she wanted to talk about something else. Send her in, yeah? Okay, sir. Thank you. All right. Anything else? No. Yes, come in. Good morning, Anne. Good morning. I will just take a few minutes of your time. Sure, have a seat. Thank you. I am really sorry about how I spoke to you earlier. I was just informed that you were calling concerning the meeting. Yeah, it's fine. That's why I had to rush down quickly. Okay, what's up? Okay, so I need to revisit some of the recommendations you submitted that were not implemented. Mm. You want to start there? Yes. Wow. I love how dedicated you are. Thank you. I'm just doing my job. I will let Julie compile them for you. Okay. I will appreciate that. Thank you. You leave it already? Yes. My table is full and I really wish you had picked up the phone. I wouldn't have come down here. I am so sorry. Uh, can I steal you for dinner? I'm not sure because I might be tired. Please? Okay, I will think about it. Just remind me by 5.30. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Drive safely. Okay. Oh my god. Hello? Hi, hi, hi Julie. It's Anne. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Um, thank you so much for helping me out. My pleasure. Julie, Harrison invited me for dinner tonight. Wow, he did. Way to go, girl. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> thank you. So I just want to know if there's anything I should know 
act or say, you know, I, I, I really like him and I don't want to ruin things. Just be yourself, okay? You're already gorgeous, Anne. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what are you wearing? A gown. Skin? My shoulders and it's a knee length gown actually. Good, he doesn't appreciate skin, okay? Um, makeup? Simple. Perfect. You're good to go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you know what, Anne? Just go and have fun and make sure you talk about family, okay? Please. He loves family. Oh, okay. Thank you. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you serious? Wait, did I just hear you coaching people on how to win hands? Sophie, I just told her one or two things and that's it. Okay, okay, Julie, we on wait. I know for a fact that you don't like this guy, yeah? But let me tell you, if this guy falls for this girl, he's falling for the character you created. Are you aware of that? Come on, Sophie. Don't be ridiculous. It's not that deep. It is. It is. Sophie, what? Okay, fine. What do you want me to do? She really likes him and she just wants to know a few things about him. What do you want me to do? Hey, okay. Then she should figure him out just the same way he's trying to figure her out. That's how love works. That, this, this is how relationship works. <laughs> oh, share relationship experts. Please. <clears throat> See, <laughs> I'm still trying to understand you trying to set your boss up. I don't understand, Julie. He's not nice. Mm. You know, I just forgot that you are the imaginary girlfriend. He's your boyfriend, right? <laughs> so that, that's not what I'm Don't worry, about. he's waiting for you, eh? No, this is not what I'm talking about. So what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you like one. him. You mine. like tripping for my boss. You want him? Of course. Okay. Like we're, I'm, I need a drink. I don't need to even I don't need to have a rival with him because he's my life. Oh wow. He's my life. Okay. Of course you're aware of that, right? <laughs> no, this is not the laugh. Not the, I don't like this. Julie, we're not going to <laughs> Cheers. So tell me, do you still think your dad is crazy about your mom? Yes. I mean, I love them. You know, a love like that is very hard to find these days. I don't think it's impossible these days. Mm, okay, but maybe just a few here and there. Mm. And your brothers? <sighs> Crazy bunch, but I love them. I like the way you love your family. Really? Thanks. Well, my family is far apart. Oh, divorced? Not really. Okay, so they are not just together? Something like that. Oh. Which I hate so much, but you know you can't force people to come together. Yeah. True. What? You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. And level headed. Okay, okay. Please don't flatter me. I never do. Well, you're not looking bad yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you didn't have to say it if you didn't mean it. But I do. You know, I'm not good at flattering. Great. Ah, I'd love for us to do this again. Me too. <sighs> hey, Anne. <laughs> Congratulations, dear. My pleasure. Um, wait for his call. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. All right, there. good night. Wow. So you actually told And please, please, whatever you want to say, please keep it to yourself. I beg, move. <clears throat> I say move now. 
if I don't know. <laughs> Just, this is your thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't why, like why it. Why are you tripping for my boss? I don't like it. Why are you tripping for why my boss? Why are you telling this girl stop? Come in. Are we ready? Yes. I'm um, sorry, please check your mail. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Julie, what about Kovala Enterprise? Um, so, we are actually not expecting anything from them for now, until the next two weeks. But I sent the company recommendations and accompanying documents to Anne. Okay, but did she call to say she has received it? She sent a message. Thank you. Let me just say this real quick. I was thinking if we can have dinner at my place tonight. <laughs> Great. I will send the address. All right, bye. <sighs> okay. Um... Hey, uh, I'll be having a guest at the house tonight for dinner. Make something nice. I see you soon. <sighs> Are we good? Yes, sir. <laughs> the cook did a great job. That's great. Yeah. Oh, I think she's here. Yeah. I'll get it done and leave. Uh, see you next week, sir. Sure, see you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, have a nice day, sir. You too. Uh, hi, Anne. Hi. Hi, um, he's waiting for you. Okay, Welcome. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. so beautiful. Thank you. You're not looking bad yourself. Shall we? Mm -hmm. This way. Thank you. Congratulations, Anne. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> That's nice. All right, then. Yes, my pleasure. Good night. Such a lucky girl. Who was that? Anne. Sophie, guess what? My boss just asked her out. <laughs> You see, I'm, I'm still trying to understand why you don't like your boss. What? You're trying to mess his life up. Are you aware of that? No, I don't understand. Okay, now, everything you're telling this girl is wrong. It's uncalled for. Do you get that? You are in the best position to be doing all of this because you know him better. You understand him better. For goodness sake, Julie, shoot your shots. What is wrong with you? Do you hate him? Sophie, I do not hate him. Okay. Yes, but I just dislike a lot of things he does. Like, why do I have to knock on his door every morning for him to wake up? 
Why does he have to determine when he has to be reached? Like, come on, I know we ladies can overdo too much. But same thing with him. He's a human being. He's not perfect. So why? It doesn't make sense. I don't know. All these things you're saying, I don't even understand. Like, he came, entered here, came out from here. I don't understand what you're saying, babe. Sophie, I just told you why I do not like him, right? But it's not making any sense. All these things you just said, it's making no sense. It's unreasonable. Ha! Huh. I'm tired of talking, please. Uh -uh. Sophie, I don't... I just told her why I don't really like him. Am I not making sense? And she's saying I'm not making sense. It's... I just told her. Whatever. Hey, uh, can we eat to lunch? Hold on. Yes, come in. Oh, you're that busy. That's fine. Um, I guess I'll see you sometime this week. Yes, I wanted to see you today, but it's fine. All right, take care. Uh, so sorry about that. No, it's fine, sir. What am I looking at? Did you make the adjustments? Yes, I want you to look at this draft. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Right, right. Hold on. Hey, come in. I wasn't expecting you. I just wanted to see you. I wanted to see you too. What's that? Oh, soup. That's right. I decided to bring this because I couldn't make it for lunch, so I said, let's have this for dinner. Wow, you are a magician and I really like you for that. <laughs> I like you too. You know what? Let's do something to that soup. Okay. Let me have that. I'll be right back. Um, how about I just come with you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Come in. Hi. Hi. Um, Anne, he's still sleeping. I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Harrison is still sleeping. tell you something. Oh, okay. Look, Julie, I appreciate all your efforts while I was starting out with Harrison. But now I want you to understand that I am now a girlfriend and you don't get to decide when or how I see my boyfriend. Oh no, that's not what I'm trying to do and I'm really sorry we seen that way. Do you know why Harrison prefers a knock on his door in the morning? No, I don't. You don't. You don't because you're not that close to him. Well, let me tell you, he hardly sleeps at night. Or rather, he dedicates few hours of his time to speak with and do assignments with Dante. Dante. Dante is his ex-girlfriend's 11-year-old son. Look, Harrison's a very dedicated person. And he doesn't want that boy to lack guidance, even though he and his mother are no longer together. And because alarm causes his heart to race, he prefers a knock on his door and a voice. Most importantly, he doesn't like to start his day lit. I'm sorry. Why are you telling me all this? Just to let you know. 
Just to let you know that after all these that I mentioned, it doesn't stop me from walking into his room whenever and however I want to. So please, don't do what you did again. Don't tell me he's sleeping. Let me go and find out for myself. Am I making sense? Like, I don't know if you actually understand what I'm saying. Yes, absolutely. Good. Is everything okay? Julie. Sir? Is everything okay with you? Um, yes, sir. Something is not right with you. I'm fine, boss. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Man like tea. <laughs> You know me now. If I'm in a relationship, I am there. <laughs> That's what I keep telling you. I don't care how many times a woman calls or wants to see me. If we are not in a relationship, we are not. I like to spell it out. And every dinner does not mean you end up in my house. <laughs> Look, I don't care if you want to think or misunderstand that every woman around me knows my house. I don't remember the last time I went to a hotel. Oh, you think I'm like you? I'm not like you. I'm going to the office. No woman is keeping me at home. See you later, man. Bye. <laughs> that was Thomas. He's still at home. How are you, baby? I'm good. How are you? Are you at work? Not yet. Really? How come? I'll tell you when you come back. Okay, uh, I have to go. Can't you just give me at least one minute? I don't have it. Talk later. That's the way it is. Girl, I'm so sorry. Now I ain't got time for loving. No, no, no. I ain't got time for loving. No. When I'm ready, I'm gonna let you know. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Keep your busy body on the low, low, low. No, 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 no. I said, be like this. Me, I know send you no. I know send you no. no. Now I ain't got time for loving. No, no, no. I ain't got time. The point I'm trying to make is when I'm at work, I don't like getting into personal talks. So what if there was an emergency? There was none. Emergencies do not happen all the time. It's usually once in a while. You know, I don't like the fact that you're making wanting to talk to you feel awful. What were you doing at home at that time of the day? Are you not supposed to be at work? I needed some time off. You know what? All of a sudden, ever since we got together, you've been less busy. Are you having problems at work? No. And look, I will see you when I want to see you. Right. Okay. Look, you don't need to make me want to... to ah. It's a lie. Sophie, I'm shocked. Same Anne. Are you serious? Yes. I told you. Now it has happened. You see? You see what I warned you about? Sophie, the truth is, I just realized I never knew my boss. But I, I told, you. told him. I told you that I didn't really know him that well. Sophie, can you just stop being dramatic, please? Mm. Not now. Stop being dramatic. Not now. Till when? Now it, now it has happened. It has happened. Well, I must admit you're right. It's That's okay. It's okay. I admit. Julie. Hmm. <sighs> ah. I don't. <laughs> Now, do you like him? Your eyes, are they clear now? Can you see now? Are you crazy? That's not what I'm seeing in your eyes. Sophie, what are you seeing? I'm seeing something else. What are you seeing? 
I'm seeing the eyes of regret that had I known Harrison was a catch. You know what? Just a fool. Casla don't boss. You've lost him. Keep going upstairs. Ha! Huh? Julie, I don't know, I don't know. Then do you. Then do you. Julie. Sir. What is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. You seem sad. Um, no, sir, I'm okay. Is your family okay? Yes, sir. Then what is it? Um, sir, it's, it, it's, it's um, relationship problems, yes. Do you want to talk about it? No. No, sir. Okay. Oh, the ever-looking beautiful Juliet. How are you today? Good morning. going on? With what? With Julie. Oh, she's having problems with her relationship. That's strange. She told me she wasn't into any relationship and she wasn't thinking of going into one anytime soon. And why would she tell you that? I can't. I spoke to her. We were looking at the possibility of us. What's that? Because she works for you doesn't mean you own her. What are you talking about? Not the way you're looking at me. How am I looking at you? Can we get to work? That's why we're here, right? Babe, don't talk to me anyhow. Do you realize you're in my office? Uh, uh, oh, all right, let's just let me know what you want. Julie. And you are? Her boss, Mr. Harrison. Oh my god! Mr. Harrison! Oh, oh, sorry, hi. You're so handsome. Thank you. <laughs> you are pretty as well. Uh -huh. Thank you. I know, right? <laughs> okay, um, Julie. Sir. Mr. Harrison. Yeah, good <laughs> evening, sir. <laughs> sir, please, is there a problem? Something came up at the office. Oh, really? My bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want to interrupt you guys. Um, but like, do you want anything? Like, I can offer you myself. Sorry. I can offer you anything, okay? Like, um, I heard you're a workaholic, so like, sit down, chill, I'll give you something. You want anything? Sophie! Yeah, I'm trying to entertain your guests. Sophie, can you just give us like a minute, okay? All right, Mr. Harrison, I'll be right back. Okay. 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 <laughs> My cousin, I'm so sorry. It's okay, she seems very interesting. Oh, okay. So, um, Julie. <laughs> yes, sir. I want to know if the workload at the office is too much so we can reduce it. No, it's, sir, it's, it's not, sir. You are head of research. And being my PA because I didn't have to go to school, I just feel... Sir, I'm, 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 it's fine, I'm not stressed, it's okay. Okay, so yes. what's the problem then? Sir, I, I told you already, my, my relationship. You're not in one. Yes. I am saying this because Thomas told me that you're not in one. Why would you lie? Um, sir, I, I think maybe you shouldn't ask me so I don't lie to you, please. Oh, um, I am so sorry. I won't ask personal questions again. But just let me know if the workload is too much so we can do something about it. Okay, sir. 
Oh, Mr. Harrison. Yes. Do you want to leave right? Good yeah. night. Oh, good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night, sir. Oh, sorry, you offer anything. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Good night, sir. Bye. Bye. What was that, Sophie? What did I do? You know you're so shameless. How can you be flirting with my boss, Mr. Harrison? You know he's my boss, so why are you doing that? Hey, just, 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 calm down, relax. Ah, calm down. Babe, you didn't describe him well, though. At all, you fuck up. Ah, this guy is so handsome. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? That's another woman. Oh, God, Julie, they do you. Did they do you? Oh, God, Sophie, you're really shameless. Mm, leave it like that. I'm shameless in peace and not in pieces. What is it? I'm not like you that pretend now. Whatever I feel, I feel, okay? I said my own go her. She will really shameless. Mm, thank you. Let me be shameless. In peace. I'm not in pieces. What's your own? <laughs> All right, sir. If we get this company, we would have made a lot of money. What is stopping us? If we can put all this research together, I should head out. It's a lot of work. It is. Juliet sure does a lot of magic. Hmm. Well, I really wish she's the one. Yes, come in. Oh, yeah. Um, sir, I've sent the mails. Everything is done. By everything you mean, market research, uh, market analysis, consumer dates, and um, uh, competitive analysis? Yes, sir. Oh, beautiful. All of that. If we get this, let's celebrate at my place. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Uh... Let me check the email. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to forward it to you, yeah? All right. What do you mean? You work in a very big company mm -hmm. and you're in a very strategic office. Yet you're hardly working these days. <sighs> did you hear everything I told you I did all day? Thank you. But I prefer you not losing your job. Look, Harrison, what is your problem? It's so hard to please you. What I want is very simple. I want my woman smart and productive. I don't mind if you come back home very tired and eat leftover pizza. As long as you're out there doing stuff, that's the kind of man I have. How is it? I just told you! Man like tea. Why are you smiling like that? What's this? Contract. This is amazing. To think <laughs> I never thought we stood a chance. I swear to God. I'm happy. No, I am more happy than you are, thanks to Julie right here. <laughs> Thank you. This is good. Oh, I have to go. Well, what's up? A beautiful lady is waiting for me. Julie doesn't want me. Just like that? You guys should take care of yourself. My like tea. Bro. <laughs> uh, 
sir. I I have to be on my way. Oh, okay, all right. Yes. Let me just um I have been wanting to do this for a while. Ha! Oh my god, what? He kissed you? Yes. Ah, no! How did you feel? Tell me. Just Sophie, stop. stop. I don't know. Are you mad? Sophie, I wasn't expecting it. Start expecting it from now. What were you expecting for? Start expecting it from now, babe. Sophie is in a relationship. With Anne? Yes. He's not in a relationship, babe. What are you even saying? And I still need to respect whatever they have. Hmm. Huh. Truly, I don't You know what? I'm tired. Like, I'm literally tired. I beg. Good kissing, girl. So you sweet. You're making it worse. Good kissing, girl. Did you lift up your lips? Yes. Did you kiss it? Yes. Just push. No. Just get away. You will not to hear the truth. Get away. Did you hear the phone? Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you don't usually call in the mornings. I had to. Okay. Is there a problem? Please, have a seat. We need to talk. <sighs> okay. So, is there a problem? Something happened and I want you to know about it. Okay. I'm listening. I kissed someone. Excuse me. I have been trying not to do it for a while, but yesterday I did. <laughs> Is this how you explain cheating on me? I just want you to know. I'm sorry. Look, it's not I'm sorry I want to hear. What do you want to hear? I want to hear that, that you love me and that you won't cheat on me again. You don't love me. Love is a big word. So you love that person? I don't know. I thought I was going to regret the kiss this morning, but I don't. That means you'll do it again? Yes. Look, why are you even telling me all this? Why are you telling me? So if I was saying this to you, will you be happy? Okay, so what do you want me to do now? Uh. You know, just take care of yourself, Harrison. But just know that this is not fair. That's the way it is. Girl, I'm so sorry. I ain't got time for loving. No, no, no. I ain't got time for loving. No, when no. I'm ready, I'm gonna let you know. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Keep your busy body on the low, low, low. No, 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 no. I see be like this. Are you expecting to do us? No, I don't know. Who could that be? Annie? What are you doing here? Harrison broke up with me. Oh my god. When? Just this morning. Oh my god. I, I didn't know about it. Trudy, what was while you were helping me? Things were going so fine. And you were being ungrateful about it. Sophie! Oh. Please. Julie, Julie, please. Please, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry for everything. I just realized that you know him better than I do. Exactly. That's my point. You were supposed to figure him like yourself. And he's supposed to know the real you. I mean the true you. Sophie! That's how relationship works. Ah, sorry, yo. Sophie. Hmm? We are all friends, right? Can you just stop? Uh, and, and I'm so sorry. Okay, I... 
The truth is, I made a mistake telling you about him. That was so unfair. But, but why would he just kiss another girl when I'm available? Like, I'm here. He, he... Wait, wait, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, Mr. Harrison told you he kissed a girl? Yes. That's why he broke up with me. Nice. What do you mean by nice? Oh. He kissed Julie. <gasps> No, no, that's not true. Sophie, what are you saying? I did not kiss him. Mr. Harrison kissed me, yeah, right? I kissed you. That's what happened. Yeah. So what are you saying? Sorry. Please pay hand on my thumb. Julie, why did you do that to me? Babe, oh, she did no. nothing. Absolutely nothing. Eh? It wasn't that kissed her. Yes, he yeah, kissed me. He kissed her. No. So, so he, he broke up with me because of you? No. It's your boss for crying out loud. Ah. So, ah. and so, so a single boss cannot date a single staff. Eh? Ah. Sorry. Ah. And you need to calm down, okay? You have always been in love with him. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. No. You're such a terrible person. And listen to me. And no, no, she's not listening to me. And, and, oh my God. Why is she taking it too far? What, what is wrong with you, Sophie? Why did you have to tell her anything about a kiss? Babe, I beg, don't even shout at me. Am I the cause of this thing? You, you can't hide it anymore. Ah, what of you kiss? Did you kiss or you did not kiss? You kissed, right? There's nothing to hide, I beg. She will still know eventually. So please, calm down. Uh-uh. What is wrong with you, Sophie? I didn't ask for your help, so what are you talking about? I'm just trying to help you out, but just shut up your mouth! Shut up! Gosh! Let me do you! She told me when to call, what to say. The lies you would believe. She told me everything. I just thought I should let you know. It's unbelievable how I've been blind all along, all along. Just like a miracle, now I can see you've been here all along. I didn't notice that standing beside me was an angel in disguise You came around before I realized I was trapped in the web of your charm It's so incredible, I wasn't searching But somehow I found you and you got me The feeling is like a... sir you much made Anne and I. You had privileged information about me and you shared it with her. You made her attractive to me. What made you think you could do that? So I'm so, so sorry. I, so I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I saw her struggling to connect with you, so I thought I could help. That was wrong. I'm so sorry, sir. That was wrong. I am disappointed. Go with the driver. Tell him to come back and pick me. I never knew this could happen till you happened to me. Girl, you happened to me. Are you done with the market analysis? Yes, sir. Have you sent it to them? Yes, sir. Um, please, sir, is there any other thing? No, you can go. Thank you, sir. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? 
I'm not feeling your vibes. I'm not feeling your vibes. There's nothing going on. It sure doesn't look like there's nothing going on. You got the keys to my heart. You got the keys to my heart. I never knew this could happen till you happened to me. Till you happened to me. You happened to me. You happened to me. Your cousin let me in. Is that a problem, sir? Um, I am so sorry for my outburst. Part of my anger was why you would give me to her. I am vulnerable to you. Comfortable with you. I just don't understand why you will hand me over to someone else. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't see it that way. Julie. I am attracted to very hardworking, productive, level-headed and beautiful women. And you are all of that. I'm just sad it took me this long to say this to you. Do you like me? Yes, sir. Like a boss? Yes. At first, like a boss. And now? It's different. I don't want this to be a one-off thing. I want this to last forever. Do you want that with me? What about work? What about it? But, sir. You should call me Harrison. You're my boss. And now your boyfriend. I did not wait for you to say yes, because that's how bad I want it. Can I hear you call me Harrison? Harrison. See? You're still alive. You're so beautiful. And I'm so in love with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do we do we do we just try to do we?